We have a few new agricultural builds to construct, the plantations and the flower shop. We also have a new production build to construct as well with the dyer. On top of those, we should also continue upgrading the husbandry builds to level 3, even though they'll just make a complete arse of it. And we also have some smaller, arguably less important upgrades to do, with upgrading the school and library within the university. So with all that being said, we are going to completely ignore it all. And instead, we are going to start the day off by upgrading the builders themselves to level 4 which ultimately will make the builders faster at constructing those other buildings anyway. The level 4 upgrade looks somewhat simple to do, at least at this stage in the colony's evolution. Yep, very simple, we are already getting in quite a lot of deliveries. So I reckon this upgrade really isn't going to take too long. Oh also, we've built a few of these covered road decorations now, Leading up to the second builder's hunt, what do we think about them? Should we cover the rest of the colony's roads with them? Or would this make things look a bit more claustrophobic with them? Let me know what you guys think below. Well, here's a few different items on the open request list which we'll need to fulfill for them, which we can teach all of those items to all of the different production builds around the colony. Although I don't think we've come across any dark prismarine yet, but we could easily craft the stuff, or if we had the dyer up, they could craft it for us. For the sake of two dark prismarines for both the builder's huts, I don't think we'll construct the dyer's hut just for those, I'll craft them, but once we do have level 4 builders, we'll get them straight out here to construct the dyer for us. That's builders now 100% supplied, and indeed they have already begun upgrading their huts, and I really do not want to stick around and watch them just water sort, so we're going to go on a bit of an adventure, and get ourselves some axolotl. Oh, Oh hell yeah, it's gonna be one of those playthroughs. I have also forced the chunks around the builder's hut to always be loaded whether we're here or not, so fingers crossed that will allow the builders to actually finish those builds off whilst we're away, but yep, let's go find ourselves some lush caves. Uh, Balthazar, are you okay my dude? This is the concrete mixer who's just out in the middle of the water. The concrete mixer's hut is over there. Yeah, I have no idea what he's doing, but good luck to him. Well, I think we have found a lush cave-ish place. I mean, this is just moss blocks in the ocean. But I am going to scoop up a few lobsters, I think. Oh no, I do see axolotls, actually. Hello, friend. Come here. And if you had another friend, I would gladly take him too. Okay, perfect. Just a very odd, lush cave we're in. I still don't really think we could call it that. Well, we found a few different axolotls, at least. And some diamond ore, which I will take up. I'm pretty sure we do need deep slate diamond ore for an upgrade, so that takes care of that for the future. Well, that was a bit uneventful, but we were only out for axolotl, of which we did get some, so we'll head back. And just in good time actually, that was the builder's hut, just been upgraded to level 4. Good work Jane, let's come in and have a little look. Oh, I see what you did with those pumpkins. Nice sheep on top here too. Very nice. We'll get her constructing the dire hut next, I think. And as it's a level 1 building, it's going to be incredibly simple to make. Good, right. Let's get some axolotl then into the Town Hall's Aquarium. Which I have gone around the entire perimeter of it, just putting in some glass so that they can't escape from it. Escape and get eaten by ocean creepers, I should probably say. Although, would Axolotl be a good defence against them? I may need to test that out. Right, where is best to deposit them? Okay, sweet. We now have a working aquarium, which we will continuously populate as we go along with our playthrough. Right, where did I come in from? 
I believe that the free farms that we have up at the back here now are all up to level 3, and I have clearly assigned some crops to some of them, with maybe the exception of this last one here actually. So I tell you what then, let's come in and assign some new crops to grow, rice in this first one here, the main colony's onions in this next one, and tomatoes in the final field then. Right, farmer, that's a few different crops for you to now grow, of which you're already requesting in some rice to plant, and a hole. I know that we can get rice from sugarcane grown in hot and humid biomes. We are in a lukewarm ocean, so that should be hot and humid enough. I'll let these grow, then we'll come back and harvest them, see if we can get any rice out that way. And there's the second builder's hut, just been upgraded to level 4. Perfect, we'll make a start on the plantations then I think, which are located just further south of his hut there, and the work order for it looks a bit more complicated than the dyer's hut, but again it's only level 1 so it shouldn't take him too long to do here. The colony should more or less be able to handle that for him. We are trying to get tomatoes and onions, so we will bone meal a few pieces of grass here, just to get out all of these other grass things for us to break. And with any luck, we will get out an onion or tomato from these. Yeah, I think we need a bigger area in order to get these crops out, and in fact, there's an onion already. Well, we got some soybeans, a bell pepper, an onion, durum wheat, and an eggplant from that expedition. I'm not sure how many of these crops that we can grow out here, but I will see what the farmer can do for us. Well, the onion we can certainly grow, or the farmer can certainly grow. We didn't manage to find any tomatoes, so instead let's just grow. We'll grow some bell peppers within this one I think, and we will put the other two into storage until we upgrade these farms. I can see some of the sugar cane has already grown, so we'll get up here and see if we can get any rice out. Just simply break all of that. Well, there's a courier dead. A courier dead, idiot. And no, sadly no rice this time, so we'll replant and try again. Just in case our colony's climate isn't suitable for rice, I will come to this jungle here and we'll see if we can get any rice from the sugarcane grown here. Uh, oh, also, what is that? I believe it's a silhouette of a witch. We are getting closer to it. Yes, indeed it is. Sylvana Heartfire, who is sat on top of a monster spawner, I think. Let's see if we can cheese this. Well, good fight, Sylvana, but I want your loot. And I think we'll just take the poison quickly in order to get rid of the spawner. Uh, what's happened to all the sound? Oh well, no matter what's in the chest, garbage and garbage. Well, that was fun. And hello friend, always nice to see you guys. The Dyer's Hut is now practically up. We are doing the very fun usual. As for the plantation, we are making progress. Slow progress. I think we're still putting in the stilts at the moment and trying to fend off ocean creepers. I've just noticed that I've made a mistake with the farmers and the crops that they are growing. The rice I thought was main colonies, but it's actually farmer's delight. I don't think we can grow main colonies type of rice here unfortunately. So all that effort to get rice from sugarcane has been for naught. Ah, uh, let's instead just grow eggplant then, seeing as we have those in stock. And the soybeans we got too are not suitable. Those are vegan delight soybeans we can grow. Well, that is a shame actually, and also confirms that even in a lukewarm ocean, it's not hot and humid enough to grow that type of crop. So this sugarcane farm on top, unfortunately, has been a complete waste of time. At least we can cultivate some of the new types of crops here, although we will need to wait before we get a bountiful harvest. And come to think of it, we will also require a cookery build in order to actually use them. Which, at the time of recording, I 
don't think the tropical style has a functional cookery build. So that may be an issue, unless we make our own cookery build. I believe we've now finished the water sorting for the dire sort, and we're putting in the torches to finalise the build. Perfect. Do we have any spare idiot? Yes, indeed we do. So, welcome in then, new dyer. I have quite a lot of recipes to teach you. Right after we set you a fuel to use, which of course will be coal. Let's get Jane coming out to the husbandry builds then, and we'll upgrade the cowhands hut to level 3. See what type of nonsense we get up to this time. What we deconstruct. The first plantation build is now over 50% done. We still do unfortunately have water sorting to do, but once we get this building up and working, we will move over and start the construction of the second one, which then just leaves the flubber shop as the last agricultural build that we'll need to construct. And here's a little preview of what this build then looks like at level 5. This is going to be an incredibly interesting one to get up. So we'll not rush that I think, and instead, we'll leave it for next time.